everyone, good afternoon and welcome back to the channel. Thank you so much for joining me on what is an absolutely gorgeous, really bright, warm, sunny day outside. Um, I'm filming this on Friday the 10th of April, so it is Good Friday. Um, and as a disclaimer, this is an adults only colouring channel and my videos are in no way intended for or aimed at children. Okay, so today I thought we would go back to a page um, that I started colouring quite some time ago from the gorgeous newest, oh my goodness, the gorgeous newest release from Eerie, which is the Wild Heritage Colouring Book. Um, and I was, I was requested by the lovely Sue to colour the, um, the tea room page from this book. And I did make a start on it with Arteza. Um, coloured pencils but I haven't coloured this for a while and I thought while the sun is shining and while I'm in the mood I really want to come back to this page and work some more on it so the page I'm referring to is this one <clears throat> if you've been with me for a little while you may remember me doing a colour and chat from this one um, I still haven't finished the the wall yet yeah, um with my Arteza colour pencils I will do um I did start the leaves and sort of give them a base layer of pencil but I just wasn't wasn't liking how it was looking so I've erased it as best I can and I'm going to do this as a mixed media piece so I will be using my Arteza pencils on this again but I will also be using water-based markers maybe some watercolour all sorts so without further ado, I'm going to put <clears throat> a blotter page behind and make a start. Okay, so how is everyone? How are you all doing? I hope everyone's keeping well, staying safe. What's the weather like where you are? Like I said, it is beautiful here today. It is really, really lovely. I don't know what's happened. It doesn't seem like the same place with the weather. Seems like we should be somewhere else. I don't think this is the right brown. We'll, we'll go with it. We'll go with it. We will go with it. <clears throat> so yeah, I'm just trying to catch up on some videos because um, I've not been recording or uploading for a little while. Um, but I thought, okay, while I feel up to it, I'm going to grab that with both hands and run with it. Run, run, run. So this is my third video that I'm recording today. <clears throat> and I'm hoping to have a productive weekend as well. But we'll see. We'll see. So I hope you're all staying safe and well. And heeding the warnings that are all in place during this lockdown. I know it's not easy, but let's try and, you know, <clears throat> stick together. We're, you know, we're all here for each other. And let's just support and encourage each other. Blah, blah, blah. Support and encourage each other because I know you guys are fantastic for that. So let's keep it going. I wanna keep this as positive and cheerful a place as possible. I know my last color and chat um, I filmed earlier today, I'm not sure when it will be uploaded, but I was coloring from the One Color Mandala book by Sun Life Drawing. Um, and I went into detail there about why I've not been recording and uploading videos for a little while, just because of things that, 
you know have been happening here but this is a new video and I want to keep it positive and upbeat and I want to use some really nice pretty summery spring colours on this page because I was just I was looking out the window at the sunshine and I was just like hmm what 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 else am I in the mood to colour and I just thought oh I'm going to get back to that tea room page later so here we are so Sue if you are watching this sweetheart I'm so sorry it has taken me forever and a day to come back to it but we're here now we're here now better late than never <laughs> What I'll do, guys, I'll zoom you in a little bit as well, I think. Oh, whoops, that's okay. Not too, not too close, hopefully. I should put a clamp on the book and hold. Oops. Just to hold the, the page down a little bit. Um, I don't know if it will help at all. Maybe not, maybe not, <clears throat> but we'll give it a go, we'll give it a go. So I've just put a little bow clip up here just to try and hold the page down while I'm working. So what are you guys colouring at the moment? What are you working on? As always, I, I love like sort of first thing in the morning, logging into facebook and having a look on instagram and just admiring everybody's pictures it's really really lovely and then i've been going on to the the little ones is uh school reward system app and um the teachers have been uploading pictures of you know work that children are completing at home and it's, it's just really nice it's really lovely to see how everyone's doing. You know, the kids, you guys in the colouring community. It's it's really, really, really lovely. It just makes me smile. So I may not be too chit chatty in this video I think I'm all talked out <laughs> but that's all right even if it's you know just for you guys to sit and feel like you have a friend sat across the table from you coloring over a cup of coffee or a glass of wine, whatever takes your fancy. We can do that. I have orange squash <laughs> at the moment. But that's fine. It makes me happy. I'm a cheap date. <laughs> but yeah, I hope, you know, I really do hope with all my heart that you're all keeping safe and well. If you hear background noise and you find it distracting or off-putting I'm really sorry um, of course you know the kids are home um, but also because it is so warm um, I've got all our windows wide open so not not super wide but you know we've got all the windows pushed open um, so you probably will hear a little traffic and the odd person or two this weather is so beautiful and it's a shame because I know that if it wasn't for this virus there'd be so many people traveling this weekend you know going away for like the Easter holiday the long bank holiday weekend and everyone's plans are on hold now 
but it's for everyone's own safety. So this is just an Arteza fine liner that I'm using at the moment. <clears throat> so I'm just using this one. It feels nice to get back to this page and finally start working on it again. So hopefully, if I work on this one this month, then I will be able to show it to you in my April completed pages. Oh, I don't know about you guys, but I cannot believe we're in April. Where is the time going? It is just crazy. Absolutely craziness. Okay, so I've got a Crayola super tip. I'm going to have to move this clip again now. Um, so I'm going to use this on the leaves. I did try erasing where I had used the um, Arteza coloured pencil. So let's see how this goes down. Not bad, not bad at all. I really love this olivey green colour in the um the Crayola super tips, it's beautiful. I will go in and add a little bit of shading on them, but <clears throat> yeah, when I started working on them in pencil, I was just like, no, I'm not liking the way that that's going. Um, I wanted the leaves to be quite vibrant against the um, the subtle background, so I thought, right, I'm gonna pull out the good old Crayolas. You cannot go wrong with these little beauties. I love them. I really do. I will work on this in my own time off camera as well. I've been trying really hard not to have, you know, too many pages on the go at once. And do you know what? It's actually been nice to have like, you know, one page that I'm focusing on. It's been, um, yeah, it's been really lovely. There's been a few times, don't get me wrong, there's been a few times I've stepped away from that and pulled out a colour by number or... Um, I'm really into like the 1000 dot to dot books by Thomas Pavitt at the moment. Um, so I've been doing one of those here and there. So, <clears throat> but yeah, I'm finding that like kind of working exclusively on a page has been really nice. I think, you know, because there's just been so much stress and worry and things going on, um, that I don't then want to overwhelm myself with you know, colouring as well. So, I've just been choosing one and focusing my energy on that the majority of the time. And it's working, it's working for me. And that's what it's about, isn't it? Just finding, finding a way to make something work for you. And what suits you best and what you feel like, what, you know, what makes you happy. So, okay, but yeah, I think I'm going to use all sorts on this page and I love it. I, I love doing mixed media pages, it makes me really happy and I just feel able to kind of just let loose and have fun, you know. This will be my first completed page in this book as well. So this will be going towards um, hashtag colour your hoard 2020, which is being hosted by the beautiful Lavella. So it will go towards that. Mm -hmm. 
yeah I'm not sure really what else I've I've got two buddy colors in Mythomorphia but I'm just working on them kind of as and when um, but yeah anything else I color it's just kind of like hmm you know just go for something that I that's I'm feeling you know and something that's appealing to me and stuff so this morning I finished a page in Fashion Circus by the fabulous Carla Magana. I started that page yesterday and I finished that up this morning. I was so happy with the way that came out. So I do think I'm going to take another one of my Carla Magana books upstairs to work on this evening. So... Yeah. But I really do think this olive green is looking lovely against the colour. I do need to sort out the pencil here because when I was erasing the leaves, I've caught the pencil underneath. But I've just got sort of the wall up here, behind here, and this bit to do. So <clears throat> we're about halfway done, I guess, with the the wall in the background so what have you all been doing during the quarantine, lockdown, isolation, whatever it is you want to refer to it as. What have you all been doing to, you know, try and keep your mind off things? What's been helping you? so lovely having the windows open because we've got some beautiful great big trees right opposite the house and um you can just hear the birds over there singing it's so lovely i think i need to get like a little a little table and chair and just sit outside the front door <laughs> I was so foolish guys honestly I am kicking myself I ordered um, what I believed was some A4 um, wallets with the poppies on them for the kids to put their schoolwork and stuff in um, especially Tegan for like her different subjects and stuff to put all her homeschooling work in, in different folders for each subject they arrived they were A5 <laughs> and I was like I didn't order A5 anyway when I had a look yeah I did I had ordered the wrong ones and I'm like oh great oh well the A5 ones will have a use for something so I kept them ordered the A4 so that's fine they they came a few weeks ago um I um have purchased some pdfs from Etsy um from I think one of the shops is small and round um, and the art is by Jeremiah Kettner. So I purchased some PDFs from him and who else? I think there was like two or three other places. Um, and the only paper I have is like the regular printer paper. So I thought, right, I will order some of the 220 GSM thick white paper that I like. Um, and I thought, right, I'll order four packs and then I have plenty. Um, and I've also got um, some replacement um, display folders. So I thought I can print the PDFs out, rearrange them and put them in those to keep them safe. Well, the first two packs of paper arrived and it was A5. And I'm thinking, this, 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 this isn't right. This isn't right. Um, 
and when I checked, yep, I had ordered A5 again. And I'm thinking, hang on, this, you know, I, I know I'm not ordering A5, but when I checked the order, that's exactly what I've ordered. Um, but I had ordered four packs and it was too late for me to cancel the other two packs because they had already been dispatched and I'm thinking, oh my god, so I've now got uh, 200, 200 sheets of A5 and 220 DSM paper. That is way too small for the printer. I need A4. Um, so the A4 is just going to have to wait for a minute, but you know, the kids can use the A5 for staff and I might use it as well because I want to try and get get going with my sketching and doodling and stuff again because I think that might be a big help and comfort to me at the moment as well so we'll see but um yeah <laughs> it's just like oh honestly cannot take me anywhere I just seem to be making silly mistakes it's really frustrating but then i don't know if it's just because we've had so much going on that i've been distracted and oh, i don't know i don't know but yeah silly 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 mistakes and made by yours truly what can i say what can i say it happens it happens we're getting there with the leaves see how just putting a, a base of water you know water mark water based marker makes such a difference doesn't it and it gets it done so much quicker So like I said, I'm just trying to get caught up on some videos that I know I'm way behind on and especially these um, you know, these two requested videos that I started and didn't come back to. I want to get them done because I, I feel bad, you know, I asked you guys for requests and I had them and even though I'd, I'd done most of them, these are the two that I still need to finish, this one and Tentacle Kitty. So... This one is for Sue. I think Tentacle Kitty is for. Hmm. Is it Caitlin? Caitlin or Courtney? I can't remember which. I know it's one of those two. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> thinking because of how lovely it is outside I think I'm gonna do like a pale lemon and powder blue for like the tablecloth and the um the blinds in the in the window I think I'm gonna do that I think that'll look really pretty I don't want to do the usual like pinks, purples, turquoises that I would normally choose. I want to 
do something different. Okay. So that's those. Let's um hmm. let's 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 I can't think. What do I want to work on now? Um do some of these bricks I think. Let's see what colours we've got here a second. I'm just trying out some of my uh, super tips. Let's see what colours we've got here. Um, nah, it's not that one. A bit more organised, really, shouldn't I? Don't want that. Yeah, okay. Okay, so oops, let's uh, put that back here behind our page. bricks in the different colours. As you can see I've got three different shades of um, crown super tips pulled out for this one. What do you think of these colours? I think they're looking quite nice. <clears throat> and the thing is as well using the super tips is that it makes it makes everything go faster, you know, if you use markers as a base. And it gives you that nice solid block of colour. If you want to go in after and add like some shading and things like that, then you absolutely can. It is entirely up to you. Or you can just straight colour, either way. It will still look beautiful. Okay, so let's go now with the lightish brown colour. Let's do that here. Oops. I think what I might do in some places as well is just add like a little bit of darker line work with like a fine liner coloured marker. I'll do that. That might look quite nice. I don't know. I'm thinking out loud. <laughs> just mulling over ideas and just just thinking. And then our final colour. This is much more of a warm, a warm colour. 
yeah that looks really lovely with this kind of goldy color that we've got on the wall in the background so that looks really pretty i like that a lot yeah that's gonna look really good <coughs> excuse me see what I'm doing I'm trying to stay as in frame as I can okay and then I'm just looking and it looks like We've got some brickwork here as well. So let's put some of these colours down here. Right, I think I want to use. Hmm, let's see. Greens have I got? I'm going to use a lighter green on this and um, I will shade it with them um, you know some deeper green pencils or maybe we'll even just have a tiny tiny little little whisper of watercolor over the top I wonder how that would work in this book I'm trying to watercolor over water based marker mm. That could be a disaster for bleeding, maybe. We'll see. Yeah, this is looking really lovely against those brown colours that we've got there. And then um, let's do this a dark, a dark green. Let's grab my um, Arteza fine liners and see what we've got here in the way of dark green. Okay, that'll work. That will work. I'm just gonna get a sip of my drink.
just using an Arteza fine liner. Just using that for the little leaves on this one. thinking to myself shall I use like a Crayola super tip to put a base of yellow on that blind and then shade it with pencils I think I might you know I think I might I can see uh, the super tips playing a big role in, in this uh, this page Green is so pretty. <clears throat> I'm going to keep that out because I think I'm going to use it on these little leaves and things here on the um, on the tablecloth. I think that would look really, really, really pretty. So I'm going to keep and keep that one out and keep that brown out as well because we'll use that on the chairs. So let's find a really lovely lovely pale pale yellow wow that's very vibrant <clears throat> oh, that's quite pretty I do like that one let's see I think this is more of a yellowy orange yeah Okay, so let's go for that yellow and blue. blue, blue, blue. Wow, it's a bit more, more pastel than that, really. Um, I'm not sure about that. Might have to, might have to get my thinking cap on. Oh, what's that? Oh, this is like a. No, it's a bit of a grey blue, isn't it? Okay, that's all right. That's all right. We'll just we'll go with the yellow for a minute. <clears throat> so let's put our yellow here on our blind. So let's do that. I'm just gonna sort of go around the outline for a minute. Okay. Well, this is gonna look nice, I hope, when it's all finished. We put these nice bright cheerful spring colours in <clears throat> I think we'll do these flowers here pink they look quite pretty I think pinks and lilac I think I'm going to do the watercolour though I want them to be quite um, quite subtle I know that this isn't quite lemon, but that's okay. That's all right. This is a really, really pretty yellow. Here's me who's been <laughs> 
living in like my my leggings or my you know pajama bottoms but it's so hot today so so warm i've actually put one of my summer jumpsuits on <laughs> do you believe it oh my gosh i've got a little bit of skin out my legs are covered my arms aren't <laughs> but still Goodness me. I'm so transparent though, the sun just sort of reflects right off me. <laughs> I have super pale skin. Okay, so that's that. And then. We could do that in yellow. Should we do the other bit? Yeah, or should we do that blue? I think we'll do that blue actually, and then we'll do like alternate. Down here on the edges. Yeah, that would look cute. <clears throat> I really like that I really do now I want to colour this little guy this little teddy here um, I want to do a grey teddy because it's going to be a lot of brown we could do lilac that would look quite pretty Let's see we've got a Pretty lilac colour. Let's have a look. Ooh. Yes, we do. So. I think this is going to look really cute. So. Colors. I will add some highlights on him as well later. But um, for now, let's just get our let's just get our colors down. Oh, I'm going to need that yellow for the tablecloth as well. Just remembered that. Oh, I forget the tablecloth. His little leggies. Okay, and then I'm going to give him some darker purple shorts. Oh, this is cute. I really like the colour on him. Oh, that's really pretty. It looks lovely with that yellow on the page as well. Really cute. There we go. We'll give him a little purple ear as well. There. Oh, that's adorable. <clears throat> okay. Let me grab that yellow again. Because I do want this for the uh, for the tablecloth. Okay, so let's see. I right, okay, I'm gonna colour just over the flowers on this and then um, I will go over them with a fine liner otherwise if I try and colour around them we are going to be here all day we could use some glitter gel pen on this as well <gasps> Ooh, pretty We 
hear Aaron and the kids in the background. <laughs> Bless them. So as you can see, I'm just, you know, not being overly fussy. I just want to get the, the base of the colour down. sure you guys can see what I'm doing. It's a bit of a dodgy angle isn't it? It's because I've got the my pencil case with my 120 set of um, Arteza pencils in it. Let me um let's move them over there a second. There we go. There. Let's keep that out of the glare of the sun as well. There's a bit of a glare sort of up here on the page. There, where the sun is coming through. But um that's alright because we're we're not looking at that part of the page just yet. So we're good. We're good. If I notice it start creeping its way down, then I will um have to sort out the curtain situation. I know that I get a lot of you ask about um, shading over markers as well, so I'll show you that a little bit just on the um, on the blind in a moment, just so you can see how I do it. It's not a tutorial. It's <laughs> my goodness, I'm nowhere near up there to be able to do that, but um, I can just show you how I do it, and if it helps just one person, then brilliant. But I'm nowhere near qualified to do tutorials. Um, keep an eye out though, because I am going to be doing an original piece of art soon, hopefully. I always get so nervous. Um, but I really want to get back into my sketchbook. I, I, I think it was last year I got into sketching a little bit. And it made me realise how much I'd missed it, but then I've kind of stepped away from it again. Um, but I think now is as good a time as any to pick it back up again and um, yeah we'll give it a go. I just want to draw things that you know make me and other people smile. <clears throat> if you see my last colour in chat um, and I was doing the one colour mandala but I was using different colours um, I did say that um, of course during this outbreak um, you see lots of children sort of, they're painting rainbows and putting them up in their windows of their homes and things and um, it's in support of the NHS workers and it's really nice as well because if you're out just sort of you know getting a breath of fresh air doing your you know 20-30 minute of exercise a day um, you know to see have a look in, you know, as you're walking past people's homes and to see these rainbows, it just, it really makes you smile. It's, it's such a lovely thing to see. So I thought I would do my own version. And there's a drawing that I'd done, oh my goodness, quite some time ago in my sketchbook. Um, it was from last year. And I think, do you know what, that might actually feel, fit the bill perfectly. So maybe we'll watercolour that or something. And see, and see how it goes. See what we, see what we get. Oh, that pink is really pretty. Okay, let's just do some of these flowers. I knew I was going to paint them, but this pink is lovely. Look at that. So lovely. 
And then, you know, if it, it's, it does seem quite, um, quite fluorescent actually, <laughs> but that's okay. I can tone that down with some pencils. I can use like a fuchsia, um, magenta, something like that, just to tone down the edges a little bit. So we can do that. I know I'm jumping all over this page, but I'm just colouring it however makes me happy. And when I see something, I think, oh, that would look good there. That's what we're doing. I don't want to be putting any stress or anything. I just want to have fun, you know, and just enjoy what I'm colouring. That's what it's about, isn't it? Just enjoying putting colour to a page. Okay, so I think I want to go in with a dark green on um, those leaves here. So let's, um, I think this is a really dark Oh, is that the one I used down here? Hmm, may well be. That's okay. That's okay. <clears throat> I don't know if the camera is picking up the sound of the birds singing in the background, but it's so lovely. really is nice oh, there's a mum and her two children out for a walk. Bless them. They've got the right idea. They're waiting until it's a bit later in the day because when it's hot like this, it's better to kind of just wait until a bit later, I think, when it's cooler. So, yeah, she's definitely got the right idea. got my um lost ocean by johanna bassford i've got that book upstairs on my cart next to the bed um because i really wanted to color something in it the other day but i couldn't decide what and as i'm sat here using these fine liners i'm thinking hmm i might use these fine liners and do like the nameplate page or something in Lost Ocean. I think that would be quite nice. Okay, so I'm going to move the fine liners aside and take another sip of my drink. Okay, and then I'm just going to add a little bit of shading on here. So <clears throat> We'll do it here on the blind. So let me grab. Hmm. Let's grab some orange pencils. It looks like I've got a few pulled out already, and I think that's the ones I was using for the background, which is fine. It's absolutely fine. Um let's go. Um 
Okay. Now, the Arteza pencils, <clears throat> when they come in the set, they are sharpened, but they're sharpened to a blunt point like this. I don't know if you can see that. There you go. Is that picking up on camera? Um, but I like quite a fine tip. So I'm going to quickly whiz these through the sharpener. So please excuse the noise. And I will be right with you. They don't need a lot of them. Um, they don't need a lot of them. Um, oops. Tanning. Okay. So let me zoom in because, like I said, there's quite a few of you who ask about this. So, <clears throat> okay. So here I've got my layer of Crayola Super Tip, and then I've got three different shades of orange pencils um i'm going to see what the medium one comes out like first because if that's yeah okay i'm not going to need the really dark one so all i'm going to do is the same as what i do when i'm normally shading is go with sort of like a slightly harder pressure and then gradiate that color out i'm going to do that here all along the edge like so. And because you've got that solid base of colour behind, quite often, um, you know, you'll find that your colour on top really pops. Now, of course, you can go in with a paler colour if you want to, but you know, if you want your shadows and things to show up, you do need a slightly darker tone than what you've got as your base. I had pulled out the um, Vermilion in the Arteza pencils as my darkest, but when I put a little bit down, I was like, okay, no, whoa, 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 that's too dark. Um, when I put a bit of this one down, I knew that the Vermilion would be too dark. So this is just orange, the colour I'm using at the moment. And then I've got pumpkin orange pulled out so we'll use that to just blend this darker orange in a little bit if we need to so i'm just working around the edges really lightly around i've put it darker here on the edge and i will along the top and down this side but on these bits here by the scallops i don't need that shading so dark I don't need it, I don't want it, I just colour this how I think it will look nice and how I want to. Each page is your, you know, you colour it, you, you interpret it your own way. There's no right or wrong, you know, there's no right or not wrong. Can you see, just adding that little bit of shading, it adds so much depth. It makes a huge difference and it doesn't take two minutes. And this is one of my favourite ways to colour. It's having a marker base and then going over the top. That is, you know, oh, I love it. Love it. The only thing is with this book, and the same with all of Erie's books, they are double sided so you cannot use alcohol markers because you, you will sacrifice, you will have to sacrifice one of your pages due to the bleed through. Now, I love all of her books, I love all of the images, so I ain't sacrificing any. No, 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 no. No, these are some of the books that I am quite precious over. Um... Obviously, the third romantic country is now out of print. 
Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm gutted. Absolutely gutted because I don't don't have that one and I can't get it anywhere. <laughs> but it's okay. I'm happy with what I do have. Okay, so I'm just putting a harder pressure here and then gradiating that out as we move down like that. Okay. Oh, I've just remembered a video I need to film as well. The lovely um, Imogen from Colouring Kid. Um, she has tagged me in um it's basically like you choose your you know your top fate your top five coloring books to have with you during lockdown <clears throat> so i need to do that i knew there was a video i needed to do today and i couldn't think of it and it's just come to me now so i will have to get that one done Five books though. Oh, that's going to be a hard one to choose. <laughs> so many wonderful books. I don't know if you guys have noticed, but on like Facebook and Instagram, I've noticed that there's a lot of artists at the moment and they're doing like free colouring pages for people to use during the, the virus, during the isolation and things like that. So I just want to say if any of the artists are watching this, not I mean, why would they want to watch little old me but you know just just in case just in case thank you so much for being so generous with your artwork and you know sharing it for people to be able to use at this really difficult and confusing time so thank you so much I know um Johanna Basford has been doing uh, videos hasn't she of an afternoon <clears throat> which is so lovely of her I do need to I need to play catch upon those because I've, I've missed all of them but I want to go back and watch um, because I took part in the inky art school back in November I think it was um, and yeah I really want to I want to do it again <laughs> So I want to go back and find the videos and participate in that again. You know. Because I'm thinking the more that I can um, learn and build confidence from participating in things like that, that might help my own personal journey, you know, with my sketchbook and stuff. So that's my thinking behind that anyway. Okay, I think I'm going to go in with a yellow just to buff that colour in a little bit. So I'm going to use <coughs> lemon yellow. Now this probably won't show up. But that's okay. I just want to use it as like a kind of like a blender if, if you will. So I'm using quite a hard pressure. And I just want to blend these orangey colours in. Yeah, I'm using like a, a medium, medium pressure. Medium to hard pressure. I'm just trying to blend that. really blend out those oranges like that so I am getting a little pencil dust coming off so use a makeup brush from Poundland <laughs> I've had that so long um, but all I've ever used it for is my pages so it's never ever had makeup on it so that's fine <coughs> Yeah, you can probably see as I'm, you know, can you see that? Pencil dust 
it's fine. It's fine. It doesn't bother me. It doesn't bother me. I'm just trying to smush that pigment in. And it just sort of, you know, blends out the orangey colour a little bit more. So, yeah, I think this is, uh, I think it's looking nice. It's a bit more kind of yellowy orangey than I would have liked, but that's all right. It still looks really lovely, especially with this all olive green colour next to it. I do really, really like that a lot. Really pretty. Okay, so let's just brush away that pencil dust. So there, can you see how just, you know, putting a little bit of pencil shading over a marker base can make such a huge difference. So as you can see with these leaves, they don't have any shading. They are just straight Crayola marker. This yellow Crayola marker has the shading over the top with the, I love you. <laughs> <laughs> with the um, orange Arteza pencils and it just adds that depth and definition it's really really lovely so let's do that down here on these little sections that we've got just here so do that I don't want too much of that I'm going to have to use a blue um, watercolour, I think, to get the kind of pale blue that I want. But that's okay. That's all right. That will work perfectly fine. Okay, and then in with our pumpkin orange. And just blend that like we did up here. So just really, really lightly blend just on the edges like so. And then in with the yellow, which is the lemon yellow that I chose for this. Oh, bless him. I can hear Aaron upstairs vacuuming. Oh, dear of him. It was Aaron who popped in just now, by the way, when I was like, love you. Because <laughs> he popped in. He was trying to be quiet, but he was he was grabbing the hoover. But um, I didn't realise he was vacuuming upstairs. Bless him. I'm so lucky. He's an absolute sweetheart. Right. Um, let me think. Let me think. Let me think. Okay. I'm... Hmm. <laughs> I think... I'm going to... I need to put this vermilion back. So let's do that a sec. Okay, so put the vermilion back. I'm going to grab some watercolours. Let's let's grab some that we've not used in like forever. Oh, that uh, that glare is moving over, isn't it? Okay. Okay, we will we will figure this out. We will figure this out. Right. Two seconds. I'm just gonna nip over to my trolley. Um, let's see what we've got here. water brush handy have I? No, of course I haven't. That would that would be easy wouldn't it? Oh goodness me. Right I will be two seconds and I will be right back. Two seconds, two seconds.
you about 10 minutes. Is that all right? Okay. Okay, one water brush pen. And which way is that coming from? Let me see if I, there we go, okay. Right, pull that curtain over and we are good. Grab a cloth. Oh, goodness me. Okay. Right, so I'm grabbing... I'm not going to pull out my full set of Albert Jerry's, but I do have a little tin of 12. So we're going to use the blues that are in here. So we've got phthalo blue. And this gorgeous... Um, that's phthalo blue. And this is light ultramarine so we're going to use a little bit of the phthalo blue mostly the ultramarine oh my goodness right so let's <clears throat> put the um light ultramarine this will be our base So just put it on the page like this. I think what I might even do is go over the window with like a clear jelly roll glaze to make it actually look like a window. I think that would look really good. Oh, I'm really getting into this page now. I love it. Love it, love it. Okay, and then down here on the bottom bit, I'm going to say that this is the blind cutting off here. But I just want a tiny, tiny little whisper of blue just down here for the glass. So I'm going to put a really, really, really light layer down here of the um, light ultramarine it's a really really light colour light pressure I'm gonna I'm not too bothered about going over those bits because um, I'm gonna colour those later anyway um, oh we need to do these bits on the blind as well um, actually no no that can be um, Oh my goodness, that can be the gel pen. Okay, so we'll go in with the phthalo blue. I'm just going to put a little bit of that just under here, just under the scalloping at the top. For that little bit of shadowing that I want. Like that. We could use this blue on here as well, couldn't we? That might look quite nice. Let's um yeah, let's let's do that. So I'm just putting a really quick layer down. So this is the light ultramarine, and then we'll put some of the phthalo blue around the edge so as you can see I'm not being particularly precious about this because once it's activated with, with water you're not going to really notice these lines anyway I hope not I don't think I've not used these in this book so this is the first fingers crossed <laughs> let's, let's see what happens okay so I've got my Arteza water brush pen it's a bit of a Bigger nib than I would like, but it's this or a chisel nib because my other water brushes are upstairs. So this will do. Let's start on the sign, shall we? And then we can work our way over here so I'm not smudging my hand through the wet pigment. So let's just 
work in small circles And then work from dark, um, sorry, from light to dark because if you activate your dark pigment and then pull it in to where you've got your light, your lightest pigment, you're going to lose those highlights and definition that you've, you've put in. So always, always with anything like this, with your watercolour pencils, work light to dark. Activate your light colour first and then work over into your dark. And these seem to be working really lovely on this paper. Really, really nice. Okay, so light. Activate all that. A little bit more water going on the water brush. There we go. And then into the dark pigment. Okay. I really like that. And it looks like it has bled through, um, I don't know if you can see here, just a tiny, tiny little bit, but the page is still wet, so I'm not, I'm not overly bothered. Now I'm going to activate the lightest blue here, down on the bottom. So let's do that. I don't even think it's going to be very noticeable, but that's okay. That is okay. Even if it's just like a slight little whispery kiss of blue just to take that white you know off from the window then i'm happy with that and i can always just add a tiny tiny little bit of white um sorry of blue shading later if i want to now i need to be careful because can you see where well, i've got a bit close to the plant there with my water brush it's made the the ink bleed a little bit because you know the Arteza fine line is a water based but that's all right we could uh, we can use them as a watercolor if we want to but I, I don't I don't want to do that with the green right now maybe we'll try that on the part of her outfit or something that might look quite pretty okay so let's do bit now again I'm activating the, the lightest first and then working my way up to that phthalo blue colour more water going brushes it um brushes a bit dry so can you see if you work in little circles with the Albrecht Dura and this paper those pencil lines are just melting away which is great so I know now for future reference that the Albrecht Dura's work great on this paper and then I'm just going to tap the edges there just to soften it to get rid of that harsh line so I could do with a darker shadow here along the top but I'm not not overly concerned about that right now and I'm not going to do that anyway until this is completely dry so let's zoom out a little bit move our backing paper so this is where we're at so far it's getting there it's getting there i think we've made good progress today so thank you so much for joining sue again my lovely i'm so sorry it's taken me so long to get back to this um we may well do a part three it just depends how much i get done 
off camera. Um, but again, thank you so much for joining me. I hope you're all staying home and staying safe, not just for yourselves, but for the benefit of others as well. Um, I don't know what to say. I just, hopefully this will pass, but let's keep this a happy, positive, uplifting and supportive place that I know it is. Um, if any of you want to chat, um, then my email address is down below or you can contact me on Instagram or Facebook Messenger. Again, thank you for watching. I'm thinking of you all. I'm keeping you all in my heart and my thoughts and I'll speak to you all again really soon. Lots of love. Mwah. Bye.